Jesus, Ruby. Hi. So fast. Very fast. Hey, on Sunday. Hey. Hi, Ravi. Hi, Luna. <laughs> That's cute. Like how it landed in the middle. Daisy is an adult. that trigger oh because of the emote name yes stabby green i'm gonna end up having this whole fucking key this legend about what the emotes of my stream title mean like green dagger Upside down face. By a truck house mountain. cross stitch today I didn't feel like doing crochet so. stabby stabby stabber yeah it's this cute little doggo one and I I don't know who sent it now Wavy, Wavy is always welcome. It's it's more um, like randos coming in and trying shit. Especially today, I'm I'm more inclined to go out for blood today. Feeling particularly belligerent. But exactly. Sorry, 
Daisy is pacing. It's keeping an eye on her. Deligerent, yes. Which is like belligerent, but with extra sass. Um, so I've got up there, it's kind of like, it is the pattern that I'm working on. I don't know if it really adds anything. I don't know if there's any point in having this, uh, but it's there and I'm using that glow. Um, kind of, I think it's a bit steep for her still, so she she's trying to use it, but she's having accidents on it and I think she's struggling to get back up there. So we may have to figure out something Like just some like horizontal strips going up there so she's got something to grab hold of something um but yeah i really i, I hope she does soon because honestly i'm just tired of like the first thing i do in the morning is clean up dog poo i get up and i clean up dog poo <laughs> and it's just You know, like, I know it's not her fault and she's she's doing her best, but I'm kind of tired of it. But we're making progress. We're both, we're adapting. We're both learning our new routines and and how, how we work together. So I, I understand. We'll get there. Um, this is, this is the, <laughs> thank you Ruby, I did, I had a shower afterwards. Um, I'm using that glow plugin that you told me about Ruby, uh, Infinities, Infinite Singularities glow plugin, just to add little, you know, something. Um, yeah, I don't know what, it's, it's literally just a window capture of Microsoft Paint. So, um, I did eat, but my throat is feeling a bit better today. Um, I've taken the shut up Dell, I paused the shut up Dell mute, uh, thing. Um, but if I start feeling scratchy, I'll take care of myself. I am contemplating adding that as a bit redemption though, where you guys can pay to make me shut up. But we'll see. It was a pain in the ass to set up. Um. Oh, I like how the little hug's right there. It looks like it fits. So I still don't know who sent this this cross stitch pattern. I thought it was Echo, this little kit, but it wasn't apparently. So. If someone wants to pay me in biddies to shut up, I'll shut up. Oh, he hit that in Gael's Oh, I didn't know that. I It was literally just something that I, I wrangled yesterday. So to make Streamerbot do it, I had to set a... Uh, yeah. I had to set a, a hotkey in OBS to mute the source and then 
add that in stream about as a sub action a key press so it wasn't too bad I didn't know that Gail had, had posted about it too but yeah I would shush for Betty's oh no now I want the shush stick It's giving me an idea. The shusha. People are probably like, why the fuck is the shusha? If if you if you've watched the movie Home, the animated movie Home, um, with the booth, and they have a shush stick. When you hold a shush stick, shush stick, no one's allowed to talk. Shusha. Shusher one, but you can buy a shusher. Oh, I don't, I don't know the. I don't know. I know who Beyonce is, but I don't want to understand anything else that you just. can get a shush stick. <sighs> okay. Um, I did eat before stream today too. Well that's frustrating. I'm like, I came up with this brilliant idea and someone else has already done it. Beyonce is stealing my ideas. Oh. Okay. Oh, I wonder. If you... you know what? That sounds like such a mum thing to do. It sounds like a mum thing, right? Like, okay, we're going to be really quiet for like three minutes and go. Like, I would genuinely. Like, dear Chloe, my sister, when she was little. I does. It would be like a a game. Like how long can you stay quiet for? And she fell for it every time. And she was small anyway. When she was older, she got, realized what I was doing. That's what Beyonce's doing. She's basically playing the quiet game with the entire fucking stadium. That is some big, big mum energy there. All right. So we've got um, my pattern over here. So Microsoft Paint. Oh, now it has layers, which is something I didn't know about. It's really fancy. Or... Right? So what I've got is I I scanned the pattern this morning. Ruby, I took a photo of it, but the photos never work. Um, so I scanned it, so I've got a, a an, an image file of it, and then I've just got this open in MS Paint, and I can just like edit it and uh, that way I it's easier for me to read because I can have that really large on my screen. And it's easier to breathe. Everything's turning into Photoshop.
I used to do it before. I would take like like vertical strips of each pattern and I'd just do like the vertical strip and then I'd move on to the next one. Honestly, Microsoft Paint has been like my go-to for just like quick dirty edits for forever anyway. But having the la layers is pretty useful. Hi Mark! The other nice thing about doing the cross stitch is it's a little a little easier on the paws than uh, crochet sometimes. You know, I still haven't decided how I feel about that taxi game we played last night. I don't know if I like it or not. But something is very not right here. Something is super not right here. <laughs> I'm looking at this pet and I'm like, oh. This is why it's useful to have here. All right, we're starting off by frogging a bunch. I don't know if it's called froggy and cross stitch. It is now. Yeah, I still can't decide if I liked the taxi game last night. Like, I know I was, I was kind of irritated just in, as a whole yesterday. So I don't know if that was like, I don't know how much that was affecting my uh, take on the game. When it was when I was when it was working, it was great. Mark, I hope you're well today. I just I'm gonna have to undo a massive section here, but that's okay. How far back do I need to go? Oh. <laughs> to here. Basically this entire bit. Yeah, I see it's I mean it's it's a it's just another metric site. But like I keep on telling people, the way that they present the information um, is so much easier. But yeah, the VOD review is really great where you can go back through and like the little spots where chat's active or where a clip is made. Um, it's more useful than any other ones of those, you know, those other sites. I am, thank you, Mark. There's just, I don't know, there's just something about it that I just find it so much easier to digest the information. And I don't even mind so much, like I know they've got the premium services on their website, but the free stuff is just fine. And honestly, if that's the, the caliber of their free information. Yeah, exactly. I was like, enough people to like sit, a, sit in a double decker bus or, you know, it's just cute.
We are, we, I'm taking a break from crochet today because I can. Just doing some cross stitch. So actually, we're undoing some cross stitch right now. So living on the edge today, I had a. Uh, this one. Peanut butter sandwich for lunch. Curling. So that's what happens if I feed myself. Because I get like end of stream reports. I need to get rid of them all actually because they don't help a lot but I get end of stream reports from Twitch, Stream Elements, and Stream B. Because it interested me to like compare them. And they all they all give different information. But I I feel like the Stream B stuff is the the most digestible and relevant. And probably the most accurate too. And I kind of like every now and then, like you'll get an email and they'll be like, hey, you did really good, like nine out of 10 or 10 out of 10. And that makes me feel really good. Which is silly because, you know, it's just a an arbitrary number, but it's still. doesn't like a pat on the back occasionally you know and I really like the growth the the chart that they have to show your your views during the stream too when they compare it to like your average same day of the week and then like something else I think all right this is as far back as I need to go this last cluster of three up here that I just ended, those were the, uh, oopses. Okay, so are we going to get rid of oh, page. So that's good, that's good, that's good. What I did last time is I did like another row of three going daily, so everything was up too high. This is just paint by numbers, but with stabby things. Basically. Uh, also, I haven't forgotten everyone's like Christmas things. I just keep on getting hit with bills. Stab my numbers. Yeah, I keep on getting hit with like plumbing and Daisy and various other things. Um, so I haven't been able to get around to doing the shipping on stuff, but I've not forgotten. You'll all probably eventually get coal in the mail in June or July. It'll be fine. Coffee. Okay. So two. A row? Oh, there's a row in between.
stamp by numbers. That's what I should rename stream. I'm a cow, so like moo or whatever. Yes. Is green with a modifier of dagger. Just a relaxing, well, I mean, some people find stabbing by numbers relaxing. The heart modifiers. <laughs> oh, this is still not right. I know it's gonna be. I'm gonna need a a, a legend on how to just describe it. I don't think I, I will ever have to worry about putting in uh, a code for lawful good. Or lawful anything. Awful, yes. Lawful, probably not. Awful good it is. I believe that. Why am I struggling with this so much? It's here. Star, circle, circle. Okay, there we go. Hi, Planky. Hello. Hello. Hi. My stability? I don't know which doll you think you're talking to. But thank you. I'll try. Oh, my stability, not stability. Okay, I was like, stability? Stable? But my, 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 my stability, thank you. Okay, that's right now. Oh yeah, some of them are really neat looking.
I got it. Um. I got a load of dishes done today. I head over tomorrow. I got the trash out. And I had a shower. And I ate stream. I got a bunch of trash that have been in my room too. I'm gonna morph into a semi. That'd be pretty cool. That's what we need next, because you've got the mech suits in there too. Like some sort of con conjunction. Yeah. Like a sentinel mech suit. Do we need to zoom the camera in on the cross stitch? Are we good with it here? I can't make it, I can't get the focus any tighter, but I can zoom in. I'll stop. I'll stop second guessing myself. Get tell. Knowing full well that she won't. It's funny how this is easier on my hands than cross stitch, uh, than crochet. just realized I don't think I've played Vintage Story this week, have I? Also, I just remembered that I've got stream now. I'm streaming at 1080. I've always streamed at 720 before, but I'm streaming at 1080 now. So things should look a bit cleaner as well. Hopefully better than ever. I would say it was you, but you were already pretty great. Um, is it Octavius? Hey, lip bot. Nice. All right, let's have a look at the new Lost in Translation bot thing.
link to something i like that website is not better than the other no but i still like looking at it nothing wrong. it's great i'm i'm excited to have it back can can i register i'm gonna stop um well awesome so what what's the what are, what are the changes okay i just see buttons i've got to push the buttons okay cool There's an always translate and an always don't translate list. Oh, so you can... Add like vernic... Colloquial terms and stuff. Or emotes and names. Oh, that's nice. Cause there, there's always a couple, <laughs> a couple of people that that Litbot just like clings to, like like limbits. But that's good, cause that means less hangs on the language thing as well. That's clever. But it's less usage. He was so smart. Ooh. Oh, that's that is going to be so useful. Can that be restricted to roles? Out of curiosity. But that's going to be super useful. Okay. Oh, you've been busy. Shoot. You can install the highest. Okay, that's fine. I 
I'm pretty sure you can install the highest, which is indium. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, you're welcome. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that's the case because it is. It's the same case for Atlas passes as well. You just need the Atlas Pass V3, and it does the rest. Um, is there a way to manually mark people as safe? What is the definition of safe? Yeah, so if you've got enough points, you can go straight to the anomaly, learn the V3 one, and then you've got saved two inventory spaces. I'm sorry for all the questions, Toto. Okay. So they can still have like weird words in a sentence that'll translate, but like... Okay. <clears throat> so that it allows them to use vernaculars and, and be okay. That was the word I was trying to come up with before. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, awesome. No, that's that's useful. Honestly, it sounds like it's better just to let it uh Play out um, before manually messing with messing with permissions. Well, not permissions, but messing with exclusions or inclusions. I imagine most of it will come out in the wash with your your new and improved system. And the time frame is just in a stream rather than in the next period of time. Okay. It's, that is going to help a lot though, especially for like <laughs> friends from um, New Zealand, for instance, who use, uh, there's a couple that get translated all the time, or <laughs> well, there were a couple that would get translated all the time just for using, I don't know, weird kiwi terms. <laughs> awesome. Right, it's super cool. Especially since the origin was just some jackasses and <laughs> interrupting truck streams. Okay. All right. Good. Good luck in the shower.
You, you never know what might happen in the shower. Actually, that's one thing I don't think it's ha happened that hasn't happened before. Usually, it's authentication thing just runs out, but that's all. Oh, that is cool. So it's fueled by pie. That's a good way to be. Dang, Carter. Hey. Actually, Jay, um, because you are a subscriber, it won't it won't do anything for you anyway. I'd have to exclude you from exclude you from or oh, sorry include you in the list to make it work manually so this time chaos has been foiled All right, this is working now. Damn it. <laughs> Reading the needle. It'll be a job of pulling my shoulders back when I'm doing that. I think I'm going to get more out of this strain. This is too, getting too small for me now. Oh. I remember I did this on my other cross stitch and it drove people nuts. I was finished starting and finishing strands on the front. But it's fine. 
we did that one. I'm not entirely sure what part this is of the entire picture. I think it might be the the air. I think it's the air that we're working on. Yeah, it is. Oh, I need the H. just stay put please great thank you Me. So what what do we want to try the stars maybe? Or more of the same color going up there. I see, I think more of the same color. I get impatient and I'm like, I don't want to do the same color over and over again. That's boring. like the hardest part I find for cross which I don't know if it's like it for anyone else where I just don't know which part of the pattern to work on next Confused. I used to, like I said, I used to just like do like a vertical section, get that dealt with, and then move on to the next. Otherwise, I would get overwhelmed.
trying to kind of get it lined up where the the middle of it matches with my reserves. You know what? Maybe I should do that. Very cute. Corrected again. I could just keep going with the same color, but the, I run the risk with the same color of what happened today, where I get ahead of myself, and all you need is like one row off, and then you have to unpick a bunch of stuff. So let's just try and keep it packed and we're going to pick up this little diamond shade, diamond color. Gold. do that oh we have ads starting in 30 seconds so a great time to stand up stretch have a wee get a coffee and uh you come back We'll be here doing more of this.
I'm doing it this way with the ends at the front, primarily because it's a pain in the ass to flip this over. Set up the wrong spot. Um. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. It's, it's just... I forgot about it until just then, but it, it's just easier to do it that way for me. Crap. might not have as clean a finish right. I like it Hold on my wrist wrist there. I am still kind of waiting for someone to come in and tell me that I'm doing this wrong. To go down well.
And then we're going to come up here. Alright. Or am I just going to focus on one square at a time? It seems like it could be a problem. That's require a slightly different level of attention though, which I'm, I don't know. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow.
That's the other thing. I can't even decide if I want to. Um, do each stitch individually for a row. I think I always start off with like the best of intentions. Like, don't carry over more than two stitches, blah blah blah. And then I'm just like, nah, fuck it. That one's good. I haven't decided yet if I want to put the text in there. I think the picture on itself is kind of cute. I just realized how stern I look was looking down, peering up over my glasses and chair. School mom vibes. It's just a nice straight row. One of the very first cross stitches I did. It's a really cute little. It's just a picture of a little girl wearing a like a marigold yellow dress, and it was really flat. There wasn't really any shading, and it was just like I was just so happy. It was a a pattern my nana had picked out for me. Uh, my stepdad's mum. And I was just so happy doing these like big sections of bright yellow. They're really cute.
Oh, my finger's not working. Honestly, at this point, I could probably get rid of these blue, blue, blue strand here. It was just to help me get the uh, placement for the initial stitches. Makes me think of the labyrinth. A little bit. I really want to finish the other cross stitch that I was working on. Ali. What is going on with that ship? Has it taken off like nose down somehow? Oh god. I mean Sky is like that. Honestly, <laughs> it surprises me that there's not more weird shit that goes on with that game considering how big it is. Hi Stone, I'm good, thank you. 
How about you? How are you getting on? Having a break from the uh a break from the crochet today. Forgotten! Hello! Hi! Blasphemous! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome in! Hello, hello! Hi! I hope you had a wonderful stream. Welcome in. Um. Hi, I forgot how to stream. Uh, hello, I am Del Deliria. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm currently doing cross stitch. Uh, AKA step by numbers. Oh, actually, I think I know it. Time change? Uh, our clocks went forward this morning. So w w I think there's a few of us here with you with that one on the star. I th think our friend Time Wanderer may have played Blasphemous, actually. That sounds familiar. But yes, welcome in. I appreciate the raid. Mm. Very much. I was going to do cro crochet today, but I needed uh, a change. So we are doing a little cross stitch. This is the ear of the dog. You've heard of hair of the dog. This is ear of the dog. Not to be confused. Probably not quite as good for hangovers. But I'm not sure. I'm I'm really not a platformer kind of gal, or a Souls-like kind of gal. It's the sort of game that I enjoy watching, but I probably wouldn't really get into playing. They're fun to watch. I really enjoy watching them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it sounds very familiar, actually. Yeah. I have, I have imagery in my head of what it looks. Oh, it's the dude with the pointy hat. Right. Yeah, 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 I've seen this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I think Flint may have played it. The Metroidvania with the dude with the tall pointy hat. I think it may actually have been on Deirdre. And this feels really different.
I really ought to move my keyboard back a little. So I'm less likely to drop my needle in there. And so room underneath. got the pattern over my left monitor that's why I keep glancing over. Also I've been very risky not is weird. I'm playing with skinny pressure. I mean, there's a red bit of rubber bands for that to work. how much progress you can make on this when you're not distracted with a bunch of other shit.
Here, here we go. I did it, Ali. Updated the stream title. What you said. Not today. No. Running out of out of juice. Does there much to go? Good job taking care of you. Nice. I always end up trying to like condense as much as possible, so I'll like do all the traveling I can to get to like the last stage. And then I don't have to deal with people. This shouldn't be too bad.
fingers, clothes, or I'm pushing it a bit here. Uh, I think so. I think I normally end up doing the tech ones first anyway, but yeah, I, I believe so. just after I read the question I was like oh wait a minute yes yeah you can you can switch to to take Now you know for next time. it's I don't think it's immediately obvious it's like one of those there's so many moving parts in that game and I think like for me I just assume like I've played it so often that I just assume it's just a a thing but it's not obvious beat yourself up over that.
it's like the <laughs> my my brain makes me fill in the odd little gaps first so if there's like an uneven row or like a hole in my inventory i have to like open that slot first whether it's inventory or tech and then once all the rows are even then i'll start messing about but i've got to like make everything tidy but Okay, I'm so glad you said that because I was just like, is that, it's just, you know, that one gap, especially in tech, can drive you fucking nuts when all of a sudden you can't, like, put things together. Okay. Ah. Oh, Luna. It could be interesting. Raining party! Bruna! It's a Runa raid! Hello! Hi! Happy Sunday! How are you? I hope you had a wonderful stream. Welcome in everyone who came over with Runa. Um, hello! Hi! I'm Deliria. Uh, Odell. My pronouns are she, her. And, uh... I'm doing cross stitch today for a change. I need to do something different, different from crochet, so we're doing cross stitch. And this is the little what we're working on here. Six squares, nice. Good job. It's very cute. At this point, I haven't decided if I'm going to add the text or just do the dog. But I'm quite a way off. We have ear and, like, basically up here started. So we're, we're a long way from making decisions about details. Very long way. Yeah, this is a life of a dog. Ugh. Um, so I have the above me here. You can, there's a circle. I I basically have the pattern uh, as a PDF in uh, Microsoft Paint. So I'm just like zoomed in and like marking off each stitch as I go. Otherwise, I lose my place. Oh, this is big Robert Miles vibe. I like this track. I mean, how many of you are old enough to remember Robert Miles? Um, okay. I'm trying to be like sensible about like my progression as well so I don't lose my place. Possibly. I have a habit of like getting distracted and doing other things. I have like quite a well not large but another cross stitch which I'm halfway through and just haven't worked on in ages. But a large part of that is because all of last year, all I did was that fucking granny, all the bl blankets. I still have a blanket to finish, but this, I can do like a month's worth of sub scuffs, chunks in a stream, which means that I basically have the rest of the Sundays to do whatever I want. So it's quite a luxury. So what is oh Ray Brown one five two eight nine two. Yeah, I, I have quite a lot to go. <laughs> I'm on the second blanket, but that's okay.
Tapi So this is a cute little kit that came in the mail at the end of last year, and I don't know who sent it. <laughs> Hi, Stu. Thank you for the badges. A wild stew has appeared. Loki. Ooh. What's cooking? Good looking. Okay, Rona. Yeah, go go do post stream self care. Um, and I will take care of your friends. You'll be gentle. All right. So what is what is this one? This is the surf. Thank you. You're very kind. Are we gonna ignore those one? Master and Ryu. That still sounds good though. Alright, so here. I believe. Sautés, scallops sautéed in garlic butter and asparagus. Dang, that sounds fancy. As soon as you say the word sautéed, everything is just like instantly like ooh la. It could literally just be like sautéed toast and I'd be like ooh. Sauteed bread, delicious. Also, anything in butter is, you know, good. Oh, very nice. It's incredibly unhealthy, but we used to like soften butter and just add like garlic salt and garlic powder to it and dip fresh bread in there. Very, very tasty. <laughs> really very unhealthy, but quite delicious. Yes. Garlic with everything.
do I? Sense a present here, here, okay. To make sure I was in the right category then. God, I love that emote. What the heck? Oh, don't. Uh, that's lit, bot. We're good. Your hair would cheer. Perfect. Perfect. Yay! Hello, friends. Welcome in. Hello. Hi. Step by numbers. You can. You. It's basically step by numbers. Um, but welcome in. Hi. Hello. I'm Dal Deliria. Uh, my pronouns are she her. Um. And Sundays are my craft days, so uh, generally I do crochet on Sundays, but I've been known to dabble in knitting and cross stitch and clay and occasionally art streams. And when I'm not doing crafting, I'm playing the same sort of games that Molly plays, really. Survival, crafting, exploration, sandbox, set shit on fire, you know, that kind of stuff. Step by numbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's stab by graph, really. This is our graph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so feel free, everyone who came over, feel free to just like get comfy and like, if you're lurking, carry on lurking. If you want to chat, you can do chats. However, however you want to hang. And if you need to scarper off and do other things, that's fine too. I understand. There's some really cute patterns. This is what we're working on right now. Someone sent it to me, I don't know who, but it's really cute. Um, so what I've got here is like, this shape here is like the, the ear curving up to the, the eye. I don't know how long it'll take. I have a really terrible habit of, um, yes. Okay, you get that popcorn and beer. You deserve it. I have a really 
terrible habit of starting things and then another craft project will come to mind and then I go off and do that and then there'll be another craft project and then I look at the shelves behind me and realize that they're full of like half finished craft projects Never, never. It's it's like I I'm like a little like a a craft version of a puppy dog leaving little messes behind me everywhere I go. I do the same with vintage story. Leave little deposits for other people to find. Except it's better than finding poop. The analogy doesn't really carry very well. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, I get really uh, confused with these patterns. I'm not confused, but like my eyes get overwhelmed with this. So basically, each one of these characters represents a color on this chart. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm doing here. So like the, the letter S is to be stitched in this this yarn here or floss here. Um, but the chart can be quite busy to look at. So what I've done is I've scanned it and I've opened it up in Microsoft Paint. So up above me here, there's a circle and this is actually uh, a close up of of the pattern so as I do a stitch I like mark it off so I know it's done I started doing it on the actual pattern but yeah now it's just down here so I really would be using brighter colors so I've just done like these ones here and then I know where I am um and I've just added that on stream just because, you know, it's it's another visual thing. But it beats the hell out of scribbling on a piece of paper. And as long as I hit save, we're good. Um, so yeah, let's see, we're just working on this like the shadow under the air right now. Hey, I, you know what? Thank you. I'll do it. Thank you, Luna. What a good reminder. Okay. Thank you, Wine. Enjoy your hanging with Ben and your cooking, and I hope it's all delicious, and I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I don't know what I... I don't know here. This, this is where I am. Um, but yes, if you have any questions about what I'm doing or just in general about stream please feel free to ask away um it's quite a luxury right now I've spent like the last year I had this like really big sub project going so basically every subscriber was getting a square and a granny square blanket and it was so big that every craft stream was catching, playing catch up. But now, all of a sudden, I can do what I want on my craft days because I have a different project. Less demanding. Very exciting.
but I really, really need to update my glasses. There's one week left. I need to, I still need to figure out how the community shit works on that. So I logged in to check my save. And uh, I, I couldn't figure it out. Oh, that's amazing, Karos. How cool. It's such a, a calm, soothing thing to do. I just have a very short attention span. I have another really pretty one, which is just like a bunch of bottles with like flowers. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And the, the plan is to finish it and frame it and stick it on my wall. And I got halfway through and then squirrel syndrome kicked in. And I was off in a different direction. But it's, it's, I don't know, I really enjoy, do enjoy it. I've been doing it on and off since I was 10-ish. So I guess, yeah, around 30 years. I'm just not particularly proficient at it. I still have a, a I'm not very fast, but I enjoy it. Yeah, I do some maths then. I'm like, mental gymnastics or sort of, how long ago was I 10? That was way back in the 1900s. I'm sorry. I love saying that, but I know it makes people twitch. Back in the 1900s. All right, so we got that done. I think we need to do the stars. Oh, that's away. I really need to get some little cards for this and be done with it. This is a, like a really cute little kit. So it comes with like the graph and all the thread and everything that you need for it. Um, those are one, five, five, seven, eight. Really? Oh, okay. One day, I'd like to have a robust enough collection of embroidery floss that I could like design my own stuff. Uh, custom card making using dyes and stamps. Oh, wow. That's really cool. So she's a very crafty person. Does she have an Instagram or, or somewhere that she shares or does she make them just uh, for herself and family? I love seeing people's work, but I'm also aware that sometimes I don't like to share. God, what have I done? Down. I do things a short way. Oh, that's awesome. How cool. And I love that you're sharing that too. I, I made a knotted mess here. I'm so impatient. Alright, there we go. There we are. <laughs> I made a mess. 
that's really cool though like I really, when I was, when I was a little one, I loved doing arts and crafts stuff with my grandma. It was like a special time to like, let the creativity out and just relax and have fun. And learn. Okay, there we go. And I made a mess of that. What color is this again? One, five. Five, seven, eight. All right. For a minute, I thought I'd lost my needle there. I have like, I have a couple of magnets on my desk that I store all my needles on. And apparently I put them away without realizing now. Alright, so we're doing the stars. <gasps> awesome! Yay, Carter! You're so clever! It did do... Oh no, I can see actually, yeah, that's so cool. You've looked for many over the years, often you find them with your feet. Hi, transient. Oh, even better. Hello, hello, hello. The problem with the drop needles is finding them with your feet before you find them with your eyes. Or with your butt if you drop them in the couch. But yeah, that's why I have. Like I said, I've got a couple of magnets on my desk that, that like, are, are there for needles. So apparently I've trained myself. That's going to save, like, a, a bunch of unnecessary hanging um, for the, the Google character limit. Oh, yeah, you are. A bunch. A bunch. Look at you being all efficient and stuff. But that'll also scare people off. But it's it's not AI though. <laughs> You're already hot shit. You don't need to add something else. No, no, no. The cool kids. Uh, it's not AI. It's machine learning. If you say machine learning, then people don't get scared. You say it's AI, that's when people get skip skittish. Yeah. Hey, girls. Like that, um, that powder software that I, I tried out on stream to analyze rods and stuff. They were very adamant to point out that it was machine learning, not AI.
Oh, that's awesome. So th the this is going to be so much more streamlined. And you said you fixed the authorization, oh, sorry, the authentication issue as well, which is cool. So what we're talking about, for those of you who are wondering what we're on about, um, Coder has uh, made a, a chat bot uh, called Lost in Translation Bot, which you just saw above Transient's message there. Um, where if it re basically sees a message that it doesn't detect as being English, it will translate that into English. Um, but there's a bunch of like behind the scenes things going on. So like if you've posted a few messages that are all English, it won't translate it. Or if you're a subscriber or a VIP. Um, and so Coda's been working on this for like, like a year and a half, two years now. Um, and it's like, it's just improving and it's a very useful tool. It's fantastic for accessibility. Initially, it was made to deal with trolls, um, but it's actually helped a lot with people who have English as a second language. So it's pretty cool. I'm very proud of him. But but don't tell him that because you'll get a big head. We don't want that. It is super amazing. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, how that would be such a good name for a, a crafting blog. Stitch, please. Man, this is a weird ass color here. I'm not convinced. But yeah, it, it's also really helpful because if someone comes in and starts like spouting off insults in a foreign language. I mean, you can pretty much guarantee if someone starts coming in blathering in a foreign language, they're going to be, they're hiding behind it and, like, I mean, they come in and just get, uh, the first message is in Cyrillic, you know it's going to be a troll, but at least this way I can instantly see what the message is, is and delete it, rather than having to stop shit. All the mods can deal with it. I'm really concerned about the colouring here, but this is what the pattern says, so it must be right. What are my favourite, least favourite parts of streaming? My favourite parts... <sighs> my favourite parts vary <laughs> on, on my mood. Um, but I think one of the coolest things is seeing the connections that people make. So you get like people from all over the world will pop into stream and you see these friendships get formed and and these friendships grow and you're like you know you don't want to take all the credit for it but just knowing that you're a part of these these blossoming friendships or these really solid friendships now is such a 
a kick <clears throat> and knowing that you've made someone's day better so like I can be having like seriously wicked struggles like mental health wise but I know at some point if I stream unless I'm an absolute fucking misery guts <clears throat> someone's gonna make say something that's gonna make me laugh because you guys are amazing like that and you know like I could share that with you all and I get these messages from people occasionally that are like, hey, you know, like I've had a really bad time or, you know, like they've had some sort of trauma or bereavement and they'll message me and be like, hey, I, you know, I didn't want to say anything at the time, but you've helped me get through this, this particular event just by doing what you do. And it's fucking amazing. <laughs> And that, I think, is one of the biggest motivators for me to keep streaming. Um, even on, like, my quietest days, and the fact that even on a really, really quiet stream, even if one person pops in to say hello, that one person has chosen to take time out of their day to come and say hello to you. Like... That's pretty fucking cool, right? And then, like, you're all here. Like, with the exception of people being dragged over by raids, you've chosen to spend, whether actively or as a lurker, you've chosen to spend some time here, and I really appreciate that. That's... Oh, thanks, Transient. That's really kind of you to say. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's like... That's so wonderful to hear. Um, the the least favorite parts of streaming are all in my head. My head is the least favorite part of streaming. I get so in my head about, am I doing enough? I could do more. I feel guilty if I don't stream. Um, I see other people's success and I know you're not supposed to measure yourself against other people because that's unfair but I do so that but it's all all in here <laughs> oh and audio just audio there's always something with audio mic or game sound or music <laughs> i don't i don't think i know a single streamer who isn't just like oh my god fucking audio and if they are please help there's always something audio is butts a hundred percent but yeah like that that little free soul of excitement when you see the returning chatter badge and pop up as well so you see like a first time chatter which is really cool if someone's chosen to say something for the first time that's amazing but then you see that returning chatter so they've come back of their own accord and are interacting and you're just like oh my god this is so cool I could waffle on about it for <laughs> I, I could seriously waffle on about all sorts of shit like that for a very long time <laughs> yeah them them regular goobers Luna are pretty shifty not stream without him It's the regular goobers who help with the audio issues and tell me repeatedly that everything is just fine and then I still stress about it every time always stress about it everything is fine it is but I'll still stress about it 
because that's all I do. Where are we going here? Oh god, I really need to get my eyes tested again. <laughs> These are my reading glasses, and I'm still, like, the reading progressives, and I'm still just like... Huh? You have anxiety over word choice, and you usually end up saying nothing, but it's gone. You mean... Uh, in chat I can assure you you've never said anything in chat where I've gone what the fuck is Jay on about it's never happened never but if I mean that makes me appreciate what you do say even more that you're wrangling your brain and hurting it to, to form these sentences to join in chat when you have the anxiety that's amazing thank you i i i frequently have anxiety i've been streaming for nearly six years and i'm still i still get like butterflies in my tummy before I hit the go live button. Pretty much every stream. <clears throat> so if I don't stream for like three days, I, I get anxious and I miss people. <laughs> Aspirating coffee. Don't recommend. But you do a pretty damn good job of it, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Coffee made me cry. Oh boy. It is so helpful having a mute mic button on my stream deck. And the coffee makes you guys on her. <clears throat> oh, Drax. Oh, dear. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> you think. After operating this as long as I have, I would know to, to like not aspirate liquids, but apparently I still do. The owner's manual was unclear. It's too strong. I I think I like strong coffee now. No, I understand that transient. Well, I mean, that's a good question. Half the time when I stream, um, <sighs> it's because I, I need to do something with the an anxious energy. The anxiety will, <clears throat> will swamp me a hundred percent. And I've, I guess I've trained myself into using stream as a tool to manage it. 
but I'm aware also that it's quite sort of tenuous and so you sort of slowly over time develop these tools so like the that mental health check thing that we introduced that's just another tool for me to try and use to deal with that anxiety <laughs> um but then there's also i think once you've you've gotten to a habit it just becomes part of your routine for me for routine routine is so important for me um like i'm a mess if if my schedule gets changed i'm waiting for coda to pipe up for something here but if, if my schedule gets changed i'm i'm seriously th thrown um so i basically look i've been doing it for so long now that the streaming is part of my routine <laughs> and it's just I mean, that's part of what makes me what gets the guild going on days that I don't stream if I'm not feeling able to but yeah the, the routine is one of the the tools that I use for my my own mental health and so you guys become out of my coping mechanism um if it was dealing with people irl no absolutely not it was fine when i was a bar manager because i could first of all i was the manager of the bar and it was my bar so i had control of the situation and to, for me control is huge as well um so i was a manager of my bar we were good so i could handle social situations in that in that environment <clears throat> but you put me at a, a social gathering especially an unplanned social gathering and i'm just <clears throat> blink is on um, if I have to go to something, I take a craft project, or like I'll take knitting or crochet or something, so that I don't have to talk to other people. I just I can't do it, and I get like <clears throat> pan panic attacks. But being online and streaming gives me that same control as when I was managing a bar. Um, so I can stop whenever I want. And I think that's probably a really useful thing for new streamers to remember. You can stop whenever the fuck you want. If I decide right now, my brain says, nope, Del, you're done. I can literally say, okay guys, I'm going. And I just push the stop button and we're done. <laughs> it is Luna. Um, and knowing Knowing, yeah, knowing that you've got control makes a big thing. Give yourself permission to stop. Like my mods will remind me on occasion uh, and the regulars here will remind me that I can stop whenever I want. <clears throat> I don't, I don't owe anyone a stream unless I've actually, you know, signed an agreement with someone. And I think, like I said, the routine, knowing that you've got control. I do. <laughs> I do. Thank you, Carter. Um, I think those all help. Um, but those are all things that help once you get started. Your your initial your your sort of initial nudge to to start. That's I don't know how to deal with that anymore. I literally just go into automatic. I like I sit at my desk just before like stream and I push the buttons and, and before I know it I'm streaming and I'm like, all right, you guys are here. Hi, hello. <laughs> Awkward.
But yeah, remind yourself. I don't. So I don't know if you're or visual or if you prefer like audible things but like i don't also don't know if you're planning on using a webcam <clears throat> but some of the things that i've seen that have helped for people are literally sticky notes on your monitor saying you can stop whenever you want um or like keywords that are important for you so you can set yourself like a little framework of safety nets, whatever. Have someone that you you know be with you in stream or whatever and be like, you've got this, you can do this, you're amazing. Um, and I don't have it on this webcam anymore. Uh, oh, here, I can show you. This is, this is really silly, but this is something that I added on my old webcam so when my webcam had the, the privacy shield open, so when my, I was live, I would see this. And this is to remind me to look in the fucking camera and try and actually engage. So I see a little face with a smile and my brain goes, oh, eyes. And I try to remember to look in chat, look at the camera. It's, it's such a dumb little thing. Um, and I, like I said, I don't have it on my new webcam. Um, but this, you know, like write yourself little notes, draw little pictures, surround yourself with prompts and reminders. For a little while, it was upside down, but it still did the trick. <clears throat> Man, it is hot. Okay, so that was like a whole big rant. I'm sorry. I don't even know if I answered your question there. <laughs> I'm sorry. My brain just went. Oh. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, up here. I am over here. I mean, I, I certainly I can't speak to to how others manage, but it's just, I don't know, dabbling incoherently, I guess, is a thing I do. Yeah, I, I don't know. Control, routine. The things that, one of the things I wish I paid more attention to when I was starting is the, the importance of balance. <clears throat> um, so even if you're like really, really enjoying your stream, it's okay to stop. Like, don't keep streaming because you keep getting raided. I mean, you can't, everyone's gonna, because everyone's just like, ooh, gobble, gobble, CCV. But like, I don't know. Obligation is a fucking killer and it's got me into some very unhealthy habits with stream that I'm still trying to trying to fight uh, all the time. Like this idea that you owe a stream. If you take a day off, you owe a stream. It's like, no, you don't. I know that, but rationally, like rationally, but emotionally my brain's like, no, you asshole, you do owe a stream. What do you want about? Don't start like that. <laughs> Don't start like that. I'm, I'm incredibly lucky that I have 
people in here who will tell me to cut that shit out though. But I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much insight I can provide, but I'm always happy to answer questions, at least from my own warped perspective. Must mark off the ones I've done. <clears throat> Still don't recommend this reading coffee. Is that it's I mean it's close enough <clears throat> ish. Oh, thanks, I I mean you'll notice so <laughs> I've been I've been trying to make sure I use the the color coding so the mental mental health check-in um which is a chart on my my page uh but it was a, a command with a color <clears throat> and so I put a color of a, a, a color heart in my stream title now as an indicator of where I am um, and apparently sometimes it has modifiers so today we have a dagger because I'm feeling a little bit stabby like <laughs> fucking fight me I will fight uh, but I feel like that's been a really useful tool <clears throat> that was Ali's idea. I'm like, how do I tell people I'm stabby? Ali's like, use a stabby stick. Obviously. Like, the ancient Roman Senate got nothing on me if I get started today. <clears throat> yeah, we're not doing punch needle today because I will destroy things. Oh, hey, I was like, we are actually coming up to the Ides of March. Just saying, it ain't a coincidence. I mean, it's kind of like why I picked up, well, maybe I chose the wrong game, but I wanted a, my holder thingy. Oh, the, yeah, the clamp for the, the ring. I needed a, a, a stabby pew pew game, which is why I picked up Red Dead Redemption 2. But I don't know if that was really the right word. I, I think I'm going to get Pew Pew. I just have to get through the beginning part first. But I'm not leaving Vintage Story. 
What's a hot alley? And <clears throat> is a uh, a new cone on Exiles chapter dropping shortly. And since we're part of the Fun Farm Creator Group, we're probably going to have some more uh, Cone and Exiles coming up soon. Though honestly, this is going to turn up to turn into me building anyway. Oh, that's amazing! Oh, hey, it looks like America or Texas. It looks like Texas. Oh, that's awesome. Um, here, I guess. We're probably also going to be doing, like, once they finally drop June, we'll be doing that as part of the fun farm thing too. And potentially some Ubisoft stuff as well. It's very confusing. Do we have any more stars up I never, I never know where to go with things. Hmm. Rose in the air. That's that's what happens. That's a hundred percent what happens to me, Drax, every fucking time. <clears throat> Thankfully everything is brown. Usually I start off really strong and then I get confused and then I'll be like, ah, good enough. Ah, that'll do. Oh, thank you. The idea is to just no like it doesn't. A little bit of artistic license, you know? I mean, the worst that happens is our dog gets spots. It's all about close enough. Luna is so good at reminding me close enough is fine with crafting. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's handmade. Striving for perfection is... <coughs> What causes problems? Okay. Thanks, Ali. Have a good one. This is. Let me show you the other. Take it out of the. The puppy is you. That is the best. Hi, Bear. So here's another cross stitch that I started working on, and it's super pretty. So the right half is complete. So basically, all of these flowers are pretty much done. I just have to add like 
some detail. A large portion of this is like, eh, good enough. Especially with like the, the glass here. It's just like, yeah, fuck it. That'll do. It's really big and pretty. Once I finish, <clears throat> um, you know, you can see there's a lot of empty space on the side of the canvas. Once I finish it, I want to like get it framed and put it on my wall. But yeah. It's just been, this has literally just been sitting in the embroidery ring for months. Maybe even a year since I looked at it last because I did something wrong on it. I don't even know what. Am I in Big Bother? This is, yeah, this is just like a streamception stew. I actually really need to take this off the ring until I do it again. Maybe that's why I feel like doing cross stitch because it's all just big bother is everywhere. Um, yeah, I have a lot of craft projects behind me that are started and not finished because I was trying to get it just right. That doesn't matter. No one's gonna know. Let's carry on with this color. We can put Well, it's there now. I'm doing it wrong as well, by the way, but I don't care because it's the way I like it. But you're supposed to do the tails at the back. Well, this makes me think of Porter's head, a massive attack. Interesting playlist today. Oh, no, 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 no. It. Cure <sighs> House episode, yes. I love that song so much. So, yeah, that, see, that's the thing. I. <laughs> Especially when I've got this on on stream, I in the stand, I can't flip it easily. And I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, you know, just like tuck the tails under a full stitch of a similar color. Looks fine. And as long as you don't do like multiple under a thing. Yeah. I have had some people come in and be like, uh, the tails are supposed to be at the back, and I'm like, this is fine. And this way you don't have to show the back. Which is a bonus. Um, but yeah, so just like stitching if there's enough col enough of a colour, I'll stitch over the, the tail to start off with. But like then if I'm just doing a few stitches, this this works. I mean, there's like a little bump, but I think it's I think it's fine. But yeah, I've I've had like three or four different types of frames. Uh, to hold the cross stitch for camera and I was so pleased when I finally got this one because it clamps onto the shelf in front of me 
Um, and so I, I can kind of turn it easy-ish. But most of the ones I've had have just been terrible. So I don't want to hold it by hand either. I just I use my hands too much when I'm streaming. I'm always waving my hands around, so. <coughs> this does the trick. I mean, if I really want to, I could try and undo it, but. I mean, if it's something that'll, if you enjoy doing cross stitch and it's something that you enjoy. I can't remember. Um, like this was a hundred percent like a, a cheap shitty one from Amazon, but it actually works really well. If I can find a link to it. Uh, is it this? Looks like it's not available right now. But... Yeah, so this is the stand that I'm using right now. <laughs> and it works for me because I have a shelf under my monitor that I can clamp it onto. I don't use all the um, the little trays on stuff, but don't forget to poke. What? What are we poking? I would have loved is like a nice like firm metal one, but I, this design is working well for Oh right, ads! Okay, we have an ad break. I'm gonna stand up, get coffee. <laughs> oh, welcome back. Was Molly downloading more stuff? Um, I'm gonna go have a wee break and yeah. Um, and, and stand up and stretch so I haven't yet <laughs> always Moles' fault um, you guys should stand up too if you haven't in a while and stretch and if you're crafting along with me at home stretch your fingers roll your neck roll your shoulders um, and I'll see you soon I just realized I really really need to wee I'll be right back
Does crafting a vibe? Yes, of course, Beard. <gasps> Drax! What? Oh my gosh. You are the bearer of brilliant news. Excite? Yeah, what is this dwarven game? Well, I mean, that's going to be easy enough to fix. Look me over some veggie broth. I can test it. Or pineapple wine, I think. That's what I crashed it with last time. Wolf Fortress. Oh. But I like that. Wolf Fortress. Oh yeah, I can see the uh Oh, it might be a bit much for me then. So in depth. It's in a dwarves and beavers bundle. Or, or okay. Um. Well, now we we have to test test the inventory mod. Drax, I hope it really works. I really, really, really hope it works. I'm so sad. I keep on trying to push my sword button and it doesn't work. A hot. I was gonna say it looks esky there. Okay. Oh, I see. That first screenshot is the um the transformation from esky to sprites. Oh my god, that's so cute. I'm just looking at this the Steam video here for it. With the character models. Oh no, Beard, look. Beard! You only just got me Brimworld. And I just got Universe Sim. And something else? Above oh, snakes? Fun. Well, Flav, hello. <laughs> I just I just got above snakes in Universum. Planet Crafter. <laughs> what <laughs> here it is. What am I supposed to do? Hi, Flam. Thanks for the luck. I did get more coffee. I'm going to not inhale this one. I did it. I drank coffee and did not choke. Fine. I'm going to add it to my wish list. Whatever. Beard. Did I actually pause the music somehow? I did. <clears throat> but that, I mean, that's how I started Vintage Story. I like chilled, chilled aggressive shit down so that I could like figure out the basic mechanics. Okay. Where, where are we? That one and that, that. <gasps> there was a plot to steal one of your artifacts. Well, we can't have that. How oh dare.
speaking of dwarves, isn't there supposed to be an update to Moria coming soon? Because I, I think they fixed a few of the UI issues that I was having. But hopefully they didn't fix the pathing because I was able to like block all those invasions really easily just by putting walls down. Still looks like Texas to me. This play for some reason this playlist is just like almost every song is reminding me of something else. Uh, really? It's a shame. I, I haven't looked at it since we streamed it that one day. Fateful day where I made cheesy potato soup and had a very, very upset stomach. It was it's not well planned. Soup was so good though. Actually, I think it was broccoli soup. That's there. Welcome in! To me arguing with not. Welcome in! Make me cut you. Oh, oh, I think we're making progress. Wait, which side? Oh, really? You right there? Hey, what? Fine. Oh my god, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes. Oh, that's it. 
I'm done. I'm not arguing with you anymore. It ain't worth it. again I'm gonna leave a little tile here okay where are we at so that is the canvas here it's a bit of the work The ear. This is the ear. Um. Okay, what color is S again? Wait, what is oh we just did? Get back on my little thingy. Was one five five seven A. <laughs> well, you see, Drax, what you need to do is have a large volume of bottles. Like, vegetable broth guaranteed or pineapple juice, pineapple wine. Um, and you want to use the auto deposit function to put them into a storage container. So have like a bunch in your inventory and then like a couple in a, a storage container and then use the auto deposit thing. And if you've done it right, the game will think that you've moved 10,000 million items of zero nothingness. And then you DDoS the server and then it crashes. But it only kicks out people who are local to you, not everyone. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna have plenty in there. I don't really think it matters what, it's just specifically bottles. A large quantity of bottles. <laughs> no, Amelia, don't take that. No, don't take notes of that. <clears throat> what do you mean go to the wine cellar? You left the wine cellar? What on earth? What is this world coming to? <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Um, XO. The tavern in your fort is lead, must be leading to so many special entered. Oh, that's so fun! Oh shit! Oh god. Why is everything getting knotted? They, they. Okay, we good. Hey, look, you know what? Dirt floors are easy because you can just, you know, like muck them off, muck them out. There were some nights in my bar where I wish we'd had a dirt floor or a a cement floor where I could literally just get the fire hose. <laughs> like after uh, football matches, 
soccer games or after like big rugby world cup games one of my bars i had i i managed three bars and a liquor store uh, one of the bars was an english pub so you know how everywhere you go here there's always an irish pub occasionally you get an english pub um and we had Guinness on tap. And uh, in one, one particular game, I can't remember what it was, winning team won and the people were so happy in my bar that they went, hey! Just like that. But some of them still had full pints when they did it. And I, my bar had a, at least a 10 foot stud. So the ceiling was very, very high. Probably higher than that. We had to mop the ceiling because it was Guinness stuck on the roof. <laughs> There's nights where you wish you could hose everything off. That was that was one hell of a night. I feel like that might have been a rugby world cup game actually. Fucking rubby bastards. But yeah, we'd occasionally we'd have to get like special licenses to show um like premiership games and stuff. Uh, from inventory to chest. Or inventory to storage vessel. Using the little uh, arrow deposit thing. I didn't think to clip last time I did it. I did it twice in a row with Buckma watching on stream. It's a hell of a flex. Look at me, I'm breaking the server. Twice. It shouldn't matter which direction you're moving them to, honestly. I think it's just the combination of auto deposit plus bottle. But it doesn't do it all the time. Maybe we're good then? Maybe you need to make some super strong onion juice. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll have a chat when I see my people and see what I can do. To break the server. I have to wait until Toast is playing so I can keep both. Make sure we're recreating the experience authentically. This is like, fuck's sake, Del. Stop it. Where, where am I doing this? Here. Muscle! <laughs> right here. Right here. Right here. Let's um, go here. Muscle! Hey. Here we go. It's fiddly starting at the front like this, but honestly, I think I prefer it. 
The only thing you be careful of is that you don't cut your stitches that you're bearing it under. I don't think I have a large volume of any particular bottle. So I did move a bunch of different types all at once, so last time because it was when I was moving all my stuff into the the new build I probably have enough bottles there to test it. It took a long time for that to trigger though. Is that the only follower one that we have right now? <laughs> nice. I think like a, a good cutthroat game of Udo. Why do I even have FFC anymore, honestly? Double is so wait, 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 double what? I'm intrigued now, Luna.
Oh, okay. Yeah. Are they hot? Is the only polar motor for it? I wasn't sure what to do with it, Red Heart, because I like it because it looks like candy. That's why I kept it. Because it looks like candy. A sense of mystery. I mean that that's how crochet be. It 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 do gobbleth the yarn. <laughs> yeah, there's so many other words you could have used, Revy. I'm disappointed. Like, conundrum. That's all I got. Apparently, my brain has run out of thesaurus juice today. Enigma, yeah, 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 that's a good one. Here we go. Here you go, you're good. You got it. Happens, happenstance? Kind of. I'm just keeping an eye on Flint's chat for a second here. I'm gonna ban someone who was causing drama. And I'm uh, sure that we don't get spillover. It looks like Flint's mods are onto it. <laughs> no, no, we're good. Flint's, Flint's just got uh, two new mods in his channel and they're fantastic. Um, like they're really good at keeping on top of stuff, which is great because it means I can relax. I don't have to like, I don't really need to pay attention anymore. I can just like let him get on with it and know that Cricket and Carlos have got him. You see Cricket in here, she's one of his mods. She's really good. Ah, uh, shit. No! So it's still... Yeah. But it's... So there's still a conflict, though, between that and then expanded foods or culinary artillery. I mean, I try not to. But then sometimes I do it twice in a row, accidentally. I mean, it's not me that has a problem with it. It's everyone else who gets, uh, you know, <laughs> 
hunted when I try to do a thing. <clears throat> Toast. Yes, accidentally. It literally, like, it happened. And I was like, okay. This is the last time I have it on stream. I was like, right. Don't push the button. Server comes back up. I'm like, okay, what was I doing? Click the button again. <laughs> I was just like, Dal, stop it. I didn't mean to. This happened. Having this little like ENG uh, to to scribble on makes it much much easier. I just realized I lost an opportunity. I could have made that look like a magnifying glass. Yes, my old I'm not going to carry the floss for more than two stitches thing is already gone by the way, so... Okay. This is such a different pace to doing crochet, it just feels weird. It's, it's so much like slower like to, to make like actual progress.
I think I've got this right. We'll find out soon enough. So Flint and I have been watching this um, this old procedural show from the 80s. Actually, I guess we're into the 90s on it now. Called Matlock. It's an Andy Griffith show. Andy Griffith is a lawyer. And it's so good. There's been a few episodes where it's are like a little bit like cringy, but as a whole, it's been really good. Flint's like, because Flint knows I really enjoy like crime type shows. And he's like, let's watch this. And I was like, oh my God. I've never watched the Andy Griffith show, so I don't have that coloring the character. And like the first episode, I was just like, I'm in. I am so in. It had, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, what's his name? Dick Van Dyke as a murderer in the first episode, and I'm like, fuck yes. And they're like really long episodes as well, like 40 something minutes. And I just love that there's like, the cast is really varied as well. There's like, you know, the blonde girl and the black guy, and then like an older woman. And, you know, they've had like, transgender and same-sex relationships and women's rights and a bunch of other topics come up and I was like dang this is racy like I love it so we watched like an episode or two before bed every night and I've just been really getting into it I'm we're in season four right now but man that show was progressive murder she wrote I really want to get into the other one that I really like which is fucking grim is um, the Midsummer Murders. I absolutely love Midsummer Murders. It's like an ultimate comfort show. <gasps> oh, did he? I just thought it was fantastic that he got like. It's so, like. For people who live in midsummer, like everyone just gets murdered. <laughs> it's, there's, a, there's a few sort of problematic episodes early on uh, that have some pretty uncomfortable topics, but again, they approach some pretty progressive issues in a very healthy way. Um, but Midsummer Murders is like one that I can just like pop on. I've done it before where I've just like popped it on in Discord. And then I'll just be doing my own thing and just like watching it in the background. It's like super comfy. What is what is the show bear that Dick Van Dyke did? I love that he's just like, you know, pointy toy, all sort of lovely jubbly, and then he's like a a jealous a jealousy inspired murderer. He must have loved that opportunity. The only thing that I don't like about Matt Log is the neighbor who apparently was also in the Andy Griffith show his like deputy or something and he's got like this really his voice like hits my brain like nails on a chalkboard when he starts yelling and I, I don't know who he is but apparently he was he was on the show as well. I was just like, Urgh. it's not even screechy. I can't. Oh, is is that as it could be? Non knots. I can't access half of my keyboard here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That guy. I fucking hate his voice so much. Sure he's a lovely guy. Gag the fucker. 
we watched one episode where he was just like yelling all the time and Matlock and I'm like I w- I'm sorry I had to skip it I just couldn't and one's like you know he's on the rest of the show right I was like fuck thankfully after the first episode he kind of like chills out of it diagnosis murder that sounds familiar actually Murder. Murder. 93 to 2001. Ooh, okay. Wait. I think I've seen that before. Who was? Don Knotts or Dick Van Dyke? I never watched the Andy Griffith show. I've never seen that show. Oh, okay. That's really cool. Is that? Uh, we're gonna have to add that onto the list. I love all those shows. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so. It's, I guess it's just like one of those sort of foundational US shows that didn't, perhaps didn't translate or just wasn't shown in New Zealand. Um. But we did have a bird who would whistle the Andy Griffith theme tune, so that was my exposure to it. That's what when I came to the States, the bird they Flint and his family here had a, a bird that would whistle the tune. Oh, it's on Amazon. Oh, but not to watch. Boo. Interesting. Okay. This is what craft streams always end up with just me googling shit. It's on Pluto for free. Ugh, that means it's gonna have ads. You know the other show that I wanted to watch again that I hadn't seen in a while was the Highlander one. with uh, Adrian Paul and I I played the theme like the intro to that the other day and I got so hyped up because I forgot about I didn't forget about the, the Queen soundtrack but I forgot the the theme was the Queen song and I was watching the intro and I was just like yeah! so I have to watch this again Got distracted then. Oh fuck, I'm not keeping track of where I am. That's what I just did there, right? Oh man. It was Adrian Paul was the Highlander. Um uh, and uh I'm pretty sure I decided I was gonna marry him when I grew up from that show. And I think I was also going to marry the lead female too. I wasn't. No. I wasn't picky there. But he's... Oh man, it was so good. I mean, it was so tacky and terrible, but also just so good. We had... So in New Zealand growing up, we had mostly British TV. We had some US TV, but it was... It was like we had two channels in New Zealand until I was 10. And then we had three. Um, so kind of limited access. So we had some like stereotypical shows, like uh, US shows. We had MASH, um, like MacGyver, 
those sort of things. And then we had like a lot of British shows as well. But Highlander was definitely one that I remember watching on TV. I think it was early 90s. It must have been early 90s for the Queen sound for Queen to have done the soundtrack. But it's just good fluff. I'm waiting for the point at which this becomes recognizably dog face. Yes. As I said, it has the, the queen. Um, queen is the, the title track. And it, it just, it gets me so, every time I hear that, I just get so amped up. It was basically like third and fourth form, like 13 and 14, going to my friend's place and we would just like listen to that album on like loud, the loudest possible before his mum would get mad. So me. Um, we go down the way, or do we want to keep on the cross? We go right Cross and then back down. This But yeah, I'm a I'm a sucker for procedurals. I just find them like I don't know, really comforting. A little, little bit of you know, a little bit of murder, a little bit of mystery. You ever want to watch Midsummer Murders, Drax? You let me know. I will absolutely sit down and and uh, binge the fuck out of them. I've watched them over and over again. I love them. Oh, that everyone has like time to binge a bunch of TV shows. Oh yeah? How? I don't think I've heard of Ed McBain. Now I have to Google Ed McBain. Do it. Oh, okay. Wow. His wife or his partner's name was Drag Dragica Dimitrovich. Dimitrovich? What a cool name. With a group of leads. Okay, that's really interesting. I've actually been binging, like going through a bunch of uh, James Patterson right recently. I started reading the um Tech, like the the Alex Cross novels, and I've just been really enjoying them. I think I had a playlist on um, 
What was the what's the the video thinger? The video thinger. Fuck, I'm so good at wording today. Not YouTube. The other one that you get TV shows on. It's blue. <laughs> Like, not Vimeo, but like Vimeo. I don't know. It was a, it was like a couple of playlists that I found with, uh, on one of those channels. Paramount. No, it was a pirated one. Um, they had like all Midsummer Murders on. Someone had arranged nicely in playlists. I remember the name of it now. Oh no, this is, it's not a pirated service, it's just another website that does video hosting, but it frequently gets referenced, like if you search for things on YouTube, it'll come up. I use it for watching QI as well. Ah. Yes, thank you, Daily Motion. Mel to the rescue once again. Daily Motion. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Yes, Daily Motion is where I watch all my QI and Midsummer Murders. Mal, Mal gets in my head and it's very scary. Not sure I'd want to be in there. Kind of cobwebby. Dusty. Is. <laughs> Wait, there are? I don't remember that room. Oh god, what are we doing? What have... Okay, it's good. Ooh, it's coming up in about a minute or so, by the way. God damn it. To be fair, a lot of what's in there is vintage, considered vintage now. It's bad enough when I left New Zealand in the mid 2000s and my sister said my, my cassette collection was retro because it had Nirvana in it and Pearl Jam. This is in 2007. It's like, I'm pretty sure 10 years after the fact doesn't count as retro, but to a teenager, I guess it did. Oh god. Okay, it's fine. It's just the eight o'clock reminder that the trash goes out, but everything popped off. All right, we have ads dropping in 30 seconds. Time to set up, stretch, have a wee, get a drink. I will also do the same. Um, you won't miss out on any riveting conversation. Um, And then I will see you in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere, or if you do come back, please.
Okay. Uh, you're off to sleep. All right, Transient, have a good evening. Oh. Thank you for the kind words earlier. It's very sus timing. It's time for coffee candy. They're really good. Okay. Um, tasty. Yes, it's a two pound bag, but it will last me for like six months. Maybe. Possibly. recently mayor mayor of east town with kate winslet it was like a mini series i guess and i started watching it and then stopped because it was just like really dark but i picked it up again and i really enjoyed it It was very gritty, I guess. It is not an uplifting show, but it was it was good. And I thought she was fantastic in it. Alright, Molly. I hope you and Bryce have a lovely evening before he ships out. Thank you for lurking. Take care of you. It was a really good, you know, sometimes you have a wee and you just feel so much better afterwards. It was a really good wee. Let's just share that with everyone. Very good be. Alright, so we've got. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ah. You're just like, ah. Oh, it's better. Where are we going with it? I think this might be cheek of Doggo.
I am so glad I'm not trying to remember fucking daily motion anymore. I would have just sat there lurking in my brain. Also somehow, I think I'm now feeling the effect of the daylight saving when I'm like, it doesn't feel like 8 o'clock. I don't feel like 8 o'clock. Well, thankfully I woke up. I got up when I was ready to get up, so I didn't have to worry about alarm things, but oh boy. Like, it's fine here. We don't have to change it. just makes me a little bit sad because it means that things are gonna get warmer here i mean things are already getting warmer here it's like 80 something yesterday again but i'm like no can time just pause please like we're done we're done with we're already like late spring temperatures Versus. So, rather excitingly, the high for tomorrow is 67. I'm like, this might be the last cool day we get of the year. I think that might be it. That's pretty, pretty exciting to me. It's very silly. I do quite like these candies. What's the star again? One five five. Five, five, Steven. It's a star. 
here. cross-eyed. It's like, you know, the ceiling tiles put the holes in and you try and count the holes and then they start drifting or, or maybe not like that with this sometimes So what I'm gonna do tomorrow, other than my usual exciting Monday bullshit. Probably just exciting Monday bullshit. Ooh, dishes and laundry. Keep getting invaded in Elden Ring. That's when like other people come in. Can you turn that off? You can? How do you turn it off? Is it is it easy to do? I'm sorry other people are ruining it for you, Jay. Oh, you have to go into offline mode or something, right? I think I re remember something about... Yeah. Oh no, Mal wouldn't say just don't summon. I'm pretty- yeah, I think I vaguely recall, like, Dean and Jesse dealing with that, right? I don't know what how summoning relates to to being online or not, but that might be a solution for you. I'm not, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not familiar really with it beyond knowing about being off, going offline.
I think if I ever tried to play like a Souls-like game or actually play Dark Souls, I'd probably just cry it. Un uninstall in the happy. Absolutely not my cup of tea. Great to watch, but uh, no. Up here, right? Yeah, Okay. Here. Yeah, I probably should have done that there, but it's fine. Distracted again. <laughs> all right, so all of this empty space is one color. One, five, three, seven.
Ugh, stop being an asshole. Okay, so we're doing these the little one, naughty one. Don't do that yet. Under the stitch. Mine eyeballs doth be arguing. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good sleep. really pretty colors.
Incredibly useful. Very, very useful. Good job, Microsoft Paint. this time how long what how seriously only four and a half hours God, it feels like i've been lying for longer than that i was like all this time and this is what i have to show for it <laughs> feels like i've been live a lot longer it's just been a week for it. Though I think it's the first time in a long time that I've actually sat down and just done embroidery for more than a couple of hours. Probably the other reason why I live longer. Thank you. 
here. Okay, that's reassuring. Lining up with the uh, grid line there. Side, but I want to try and make it. something that I want for a chain. Problem is, I don't know what I want. Like sounds good, but I don't know if I've got any brown beef. Some chorizo, so that might be nice and be. end up visualizing little sections of stitches as like Tetris pieces so like there'll be like a a piece with like a three three long and then two long is an L shape That stitch went the wrong way. Oh, fuck it.
You think? I was just looking at it like, man, I've been going at this like for a few hours now and I'm not seeing much. But... Hope you had a yummy dinner. mulling over what I want to make for mine. Sort of like bean soup with like chorizo or sausage in it or maybe a chili or maybe a lazy curry i i haven't decided from there attention span is waiting again um, what are we doing for dinner i'm hungry I, i'm distracted because i'm hungry so this is this shape here is the ear And this bit is the cheek. Hi. Wanted bacon with ice cream. Oh. I want ice cream. I'm kind of even though I've got a piece of candy right now I have more of a craving for salty things savory super sweet they're quite good if, we, if you like hard candy or hard coffee candies these are like 11 dollars for two pounds really good they also have chewy toffee ones coffee flavored coffee they're about the same price 11 12 dollars for two pounds big recommend i need to wee oh that sounds really good i'll be right back
Oh, okay. kiddo. Sorry, I had to go and check my nosy in the freezer and see if I could find any ground beef. I could not. Pavlovian beer. Whoa. Chilly out there. Here, I think. I'm gonna get this little bit here then. So I've got some frozen sausage, which I could use. And I've got some frozen chicken. Now I'm thinking like a chicken and rice, chicken and wild rice type thing. And I can just use the instant pot in the rice cooker. If any mushroom soup though. Oh wait, there was a thing I think I made. I saved a recipe. It was like a brown rice a broccoli, chicken broccoli instant pot thing that I did. It was really good. This? It was. Instant pot chicken broccoli rice. You just chuck everything in at once. Including the rice. You put the rice in the slow cooker in the instant pot too, which I'm a big fan of. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Big fan of one pot recipes, and you can use frozen chicken, it's even better. What water? Oh, in the instant pot? Oh, it used broth.
Yeah, it's like uh, two cups of broth I'll probably use. I don't really like spicy things, but some paprika might work with it. Just add some warmth. Yeah, it's like two cups of chicken stock, it says, but. Maybe. Well, the the bean soup gets done in the instant pot as well. So I use you know, chicken or veggie broth as a base for that. Whatever I happen to have on hand. The base is coconut milk sauce base. It's funny actually because that the chicken brown rice dish is hypothetically one that Flint and his mum should enjoy. Um, but I don't think either of them are overly fussed on it. They're like Flint's like, it's okay. But for some reason, I really like it. And it's kind of I mean it's kind of bland, but it's just like I don't know, it's just real yummy to eat, I think. Mm -hmm. oh, we have ads popping in 30 seconds. I already had my wee break, but uh, you guys should do that. Stand up, stretch, get a drink, have a wee. You're crafting along with me at home. Take a break. Stretch, shake out your arms and your shoulders and move, roll your head around a bit. Look after yourself.
back ish so soon yeah i like i like doing pasta but i don't have all i've got is whole grain pasta right now and i don't like that I keep trying whole grain pasta and I just don't like the texture. Thank you, Rayo. It's almost two hekan years. You're very kind. Boop. Don't forget to pick a color if you want to. Appreciate it. Appreciate the prime sub. Appreciate the lurks. Appreciate you. Oh god. Crunching. waiting for when this actually looks like picture is recognizably a doggo This dark brown color is such a weird one. Yeah, it's quite a little tune, huh? Tickles me when I see you in uh, Little's chat, Flav. 
it makes me happy when I, I see people go back into a channel of a friend like that. She's such a lovely being too. Trying to make sure I'm not just like making up where I'm putting this. Yes, yeah. She's probably like, I don't know, one of the, the people that I've had like the longest time where I've watched a stream um, since I started using Twitch. I think Flint and I literally just like stumbled across her stream one day. I don't, I don't even know how. Um, and we just, we both just loved her energy so much. It was like five years ago or something crazy. in the olden days. How he do that? Oh, you interesting. Okay, never mind. Don't mind me. I'm not. Finishing sentences, but that's okay. Okay, so that is like the cheek and the eye right there. Oh, it's a done. Okay, so we have made pretty good progress. What is that? I feel like adding the white and the pale cream. Thank you. I kind of don't want to add the white until I actually have to because I'm so grubby but I'll just get the white grubby myself. I 
I think. I know I've I've had short streams all this week. But I'm doing it to take care of myself. Um and my throat is getting broke again. So I think what I should do is wrap it up. Now I don't have any commitments for anything next week. I don't think, you know, like like this week we had a couple of indie games and stuff. Um and the Sims big bother we had this week. Oh, don't forget before before I do if you want to catch up on uh, I need to update that, but if you want to catch up on The Sims Big Bothers or any other VODs if you go to my YouTube channel um, I have them all uploaded there um, and watching them on YouTube is better than watching them on Twitch for me um, I'm trying to get my YouTube channel a bit more organized <laughs> Thank you, Flav. Um, I know I have a, a terrible habit of that. It's like, you know, I don't have to do like eight to ten hours a day. It's okay. Um, let me just have a look at the thing. At what we've, if there's anything coming up on Deirdrop next week. I feel like there's something coming up that I wanted to get into possibly next week. Nah. Oh shit. When does that start? Eight days. Um Okay, so there's one... Where is my calendar? Eight days and 16 hours. So probably not next week, but the week after. <laughs> okay, so I don't think I've got anything. So probably next week we'll just try and like split it between like Red Dead Redemption and... Vintage Story. Um... Oh, speaking of, whoopsie, our friend is live, Plum. So let's, uh, she's doing uh, get ready with me before she starts playing Witcher. Um, I'm going to send you over to my good friend Littles, because I love it a bit. Um, no, I haven't given up on Planet Crafter, but I'm waiting for 1.0 on that. Apparently that's due to release release properly soon, so I might just wait. And the same with Satisfactory. It's a couple of games that are just like super close to full release, so I'm just gonna like wait till I get there and then get in there. Um So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna raid littles. You should all probably know her by now anyway. Um, there are the raid messages if you want to use that or you can make your own if you want. That's fine too. There's me on socials. Thanks, Mark. Um, Littles is really lovely. Um, she's a lovely Kiwi friend. She'll be playing The Witcher when she finishes putting her makeup and stuff on. Uh, it's her first playthrough, but you're all used to my no backseating rules, so it won't be a problem. I can't see my chat properly. Who do this? Do this. No, not that. Fuck's sake. There. Okay. Um, I hope you all had a, a a good time this week. Um, I know we were on and off this week, but I I do enjoy all your company. Um, keep an eye out on Discord and stuff. I'm. I might be watching something in Discord this week, but I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm going to get timed out, so I'm going to shut up now. Okay. Thanks for hanging out this week. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be kind. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>